Hi everybody and welcome back to my Lawn Bowls for Fun channel. As you can see I'm at the bowling club today. It's a bit wet and windy. It's not ideal but we're having a coaching session today because they proved popular and despite the weather we've still got nine people turned up for this next session which Michael is running. In fact all these coaching sessions have been organised by Michael. He's good at doing this sort of thing. I've just been helping him and he's going to explain what is required uh, for this session. So. Today's exercise we call bowling for second bowl and what it's for quite often when the lead's got a bowl right close to the jack all everyone wants to do is clout it as hard as they can and the bowl goes through and before you know it you're four down because the other side has just drawn loads of bowls in. So the idea is obviously try to get shot yeah but you mustn't go past the yellow marker you bowl in this direction yeah. If you only score points if you get it between the jack and the yellow marker so you've got about a meter on this one, if you get shot, you get five points. If you get second, you get four points. And if you stay within the boundary, you get three points. Go past it, you get nothing. Even if you take the jack back and stay with it, you still get no points. Okay? Yeah. Right, the other one's very similar. Exactly the <laughs> same thing. First bowl's landed on it, yeah. What you're trying to do is get second bowl, yeah. If you can get shot, perfect. So again, if you get shot, provided you don't go past there, you get five points, yeah. If you stay, if you get past the jack and stay in the area, you get three points, yeah. The one with the orange bowls, with the two bowls, you can bowl on whichever hand you like. Yeah? On this one, you've got a bowl on that side because that's the natural side to bowl when okay. it. On the one on rink three, it's the opposite, so you'd bowl on the other side. So it's really good to see so many people turning up today. It's a pretty miserable day. We had a lot of rain here yesterday, so the green is very heavy. It's still a bit damp. Uh, we've had a little bit of rain this morning, not much. Um, and it could rain at any point now, <laughs> so it doesn't really matter though. We're just going to have a, a session and see how we get on. Michael's explained what they've got to do. I'm not taking part, I'm just doing this video. It's difficult to do both. And uh, hopefully everyone will enjoy it. It's a, it's a pity that the weather's turned against us a bit, but that is, that, that is uh, just one of those things. We, um, we've only got less than a fortnight left to play outdoors. Nothing much is happening. We've got a friendly this weekend. And then uh, the final weekend we have a sort of a, a a muckabout roll up. Um, there's nothing else going on, I don't think, during the week. Uh, most people now are thinking about bowling indoors. I mean, even started because today was the first day for indoor play. Not not competitive indoor play. They just the, the green is open for two weeks for people to come and have a go and get used to the indoor surface. And with weather like today, uh, they're going to do quite well. <laughs> no one wants to come outdoors really unless you have to. But as I say, these nine people have turned up. They're keen to have a go still, despite the weather. And uh, they'll play until it starts to rain. But from now on, really, uh, any more coaching we'll be doing will be done uh, indoors. Anyway, let's see how they get on. This isn't easy to do. The, the task that Michael set up is quite a hard one, but they're, they're up for it and they're having a good go. Oh, look at this. Well done, Barbara. It's just a bit short, but it was a good, good position bowl. She's got two more bowls to go. Let's see what she can do with these next two. Oh, it's going to go. Is it going to go over? No, it's not. Well done. Well bowled. Oh, he's just going to go over that one, that one, I think. Yep, bad luck. This is a good effort. Uh, 
Good try, just a yard. Maybe slightly less than that, maybe a couple of feet. I think the important thing to remember with this exercise is you, you don't want to be going way past that, that yellow line. It, we, we're, we're purposely trying to stop people from putting too much weight on, and if anything, they're dropping short, but uh, they're sometimes going over by not by much. Again, lovely, lovely weight. Just a bit thin that time. It's another good effort. Is it going to stop in time? It is. Well done. Very good. As I've mentioned, sometimes you don't need to get shot. You just need to get something in the head. Second or third bowl. Because ideally it'd be nice to get shot, but uh, that one's just gone over the line. That was unlucky. Yeah, good effort. Just dropped a couple of feet short. I've often been in a situation where we've been holding, we've been leading, say, the game by three or four shots, and suddenly we're three or four down, and all you need to do is to get a bowl in there so that don't drop more than, uh, more than one or two shots. And sometimes getting that is easier than actually getting shot. And here comes Barbara with a third bowl. Oh, just gone over the line, bad luck. Well, it's turning out lovely now. Look, the sun shines out. I'm feeling quite warm with my wet, wet with the gear on. <clears throat> uh, good effort, just dropped about four feet short that time. This is a lovely effort. Oh, well bowled. Look at this, yeah, blue sky. Well, wow, this is lovely. This is a big surprise. We thought we were going to get a bit of a drenching earlier. Here comes Andrew's next bowl. Oh, unlucky not to get shot there. Lovely try. We have... Uh, four coaches here at Farm but now we used to have six but two people have left the club we've only got four now but during the season it's sometimes difficult to do things like this we have sessions for new people but sometimes improvers and people trying shots that they find difficult it's hard to fit in that's why at the end of the season we try and do this as much as we can we've had this is the third one we've had oh this is a good effort what a lovely ball what a lovely effort that was. Well done, Pat. And we normally get about uh, nine or ten people turn up, sometimes more, sometimes slightly less, depending on what they're doing and what the weather conditions are like. We're going to be doing this indoors as well. Once we get the new people out of the way, we'll start doing sessions for improvers. Yeah, good try. Just about two feet short. Yeah, this is a lovely effort. Look at this. Well done. Beautiful bowl. Yeah, lovely. Well done. Here we go. Here comes the next one. Can he do a repeat? Oh, tell you what, it's a good effort, isn't it? Oh, well done. Well bowled. This is Peter, who's had two good bowls. That one was, the line was slightly out, but it wasn't far short, was it? Peter's a new member at the club. He's come from another club. I don't know how much experience he has, but he's, uh, he looks to be doing pretty good, so I'm sure he's been a good bowler. Look at this, what a lovely effort again. Well done indeed, yeah, cracking. Three out of four bowls there, they were cracking shots, very good. Well, a bit of excitement. I was uh, videoing the bowls at my bowling club, and look, this branch has just fallen off this tree and um, partially blocking the road. It's a bit too heavy for me to do anything about that. Likely. Well, there we are. Bit of wind today, and that's the result. Partly blocking the road, can't do anything about it. It's too heavy to move. I'm sure the authorities have been told. 
So there we go, a lovely session again today. It's getting quite windy now, and they've, uh, they've managed to play several ends, and then they've enjoyed the session very much. But I think they're going to call it a day now. It's getting a bit too windy. We've got a couple of big trees near us. We've already had one fall down just down the road, or a branch off it. So I think we've, uh, we're going to call it a day. But it was uh, worth doing, and um, I hope you enjoyed watching that. See you again soon.